Okay, let's download and install some texture packs from Minecraft. Texture packs are how you can change the way the game looks without changing any actual elements of the gameplay. I'm going to go to my browser and search for a particular texture pack I like called Painterly. I can find that at painterlypack.net. You can see this is a very professional website. The guy who created it, Rodox, has put in a ton of work. In fact, if you want to get in touch with him, tell him what you think. His email's right here. But I'm going to go up and start the process to download this texture pack. Click on Create. And that takes you to a page where you can customize your own Painterly pack. You can use these four presets here to set Painterly to default, set it to the texture pack that Rodox uses, set it to Halloween themed, or set it to Christmas themed. You can also select which of these icons will represent Painterly in Minecraft. I like this one, the Gentleman Creeper, so I'm going to select that. And here I can actually name my own custom Painterly pack. I'm just going with Painterly Ben. All these different pull downs here are different textures you can customize to your Painterly pack. So if you pull this down, you can see just how many options you have available. You can customize all these different skins for every different block. So let's close that. I'm actually going to leave these all the same as default. I'm just going to change one thing. In my processed metal and ores pull down, you can see here I can have a different type of stone for my doors, different colors, different patterns. Here's a gearbox. What I'm looking for is redstone. Painterly pack defaults to this redstone jewel right here. I don't really like that. I feel like it's a little awkward. I prefer the redstone dust. It feels more natural when I lay it down. So I'll make that change and I can close this pull down. And now I can download this texture pack. Once it's downloaded, I'll close my browser. And here it is right on the desktop as a zip file. I won't unzip it, but what I will do is rename it. Instead of this series of numbers, I'll name it Painterly Ben. Now I need to navigate to my Minecraft folder in my Finder again. That's under my User Profile, Library, Application Support. Find the folder Minecraft. All these files, all these folders, make up the elements of the game Minecraft. You can see here's a folder called Saves. These are all the saves I've made in the game. And here's a folder Texture Packs. All I have to do is bring that file, Painterly Bin, still zipped, into that folder Texture Packs. There it is. So I can go into Minecraft, go into Mods and Texture Packs, and painterlybin.zip is now available. Select it, and it's now switched over. You can already see some differences here. I happen to really like the way the grass looks in Painterly. It goes much further down the dirt block. My diamond tools here also look a lot more serious. One thing I love about Painterly Pack is the way dogs look. They look less like wolves and more like St. Bernard's. So there you go. There are a ton of texture packs out there, more being made every day. Find one that you like, download it, and try it out.